Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast uh, for Friday, October 29, 2020. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button um, here down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. So this was an absolutely horrible day for uh, the stock market, the foreign exchange market, and basically every market there is outside there. So if you look at the US dollar index, it appreciated uh, quite significantly today, around half a percent. And of course, that had a significant effect on most of these currency pairs. So we look at the Great British Pound, the US dollar first, we see that we broke down quite significantly and then rallied again. And we ended up above the 50 moving average, which is quite an encouraging sign. That means that the 100, the 100 moving average here is quite uh, supportive. And as long as that is the case, there is basically hope that we will go higher in this market. So the technical indicators for uh, this pair are quite mixed. The MACD is basically is flat. The, the RSI is, um, is uh, pointing to lower levels. The CCI is pointing to lower levels. And the, MAC, the stochastic is pointing to lower levels. But we found major risks in support here at the uh, middle of the Bollinger Band which we basically are stuck at this point. So at this point, if we get a green candlestick above uh, here, that opens the door to these highs of uh, 13, uh, 17. A break below the 100 moving average opens the door to the 300 moving average here at the 12, uh, 78. But at this point, the 100 moving average is acting as significant support. So if you look at the US dollar yen, we continue our breakdown at the end. We have almost reached the lower part of this, uh, this um, channel. And at this point, it is just a matter of time before we test the lower part of this channel. Technical indicators are fairly uh, negative. However, we are oversold at this point. So we may rally a little bit before going lower. The uh, MACD is pointed to lower levels. The, um, CCI is pointing to lower levels, and so is the stochastic, and the Bollinger Band is basically at the bottom, bottom of the Bollinger Band. So we may see a rally towards the 20 exponential moving average or the 20 moving average before going lower from here. No interest basically buying this because this is a, a massive down, uh, downtrending channel that we are in at this point. So every rally is basically a selling opportunity. So we have look at the euro and the US dollar. We broke down, found resist, uh, support at the 100 moving average, and then pulled back from there. So the 100 moving average is definitely uh, supportive in this market. The technical indicators are looking quite negative, both the MACD, also the uh, RSI, CCI, stochastic, everything is pointing that we are most likely going lower. But at this point, we need to break the 100 moving average in order to go lower. A rally from here will open the door to these highs at 11.88, and that will act as resistant. So, Aussie dollar, US dollar. Well, this this is quite a, a strange uh, currency pair. Nothing has happened for several weeks now, and all of a sudden you get this massive drop of 1.2 percent towards the uh, 150 moving average. This is uh, working as um, su um, support at this point moment, and it's gonna be very interesting whether or not we rally from here. If that's gonna be the case, we'll probably see something similar to this. We rally up towards the 50 moving average, but at this point, technical indicators have to turn around. We have to see, um, have to see a, a clear signal from these indicators, especially the stochastic that is going to turn around. So we may see something that we're going to try and um, break the um, 150 moving average or trade sideways for a couple of days. But at this point, 150 is, um, is basically support. A break below that opens the door to the 200 moving average. And if we rally, then the, of course the 50 moving average will be significant resistant. US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have rallied found uh, resistant here at the 100 moving average. And at this point, well, we have done this several times before. We can see it here. The 100 uh, moving average has been resistant in the past. And 
if we pull back from here that only means that we'll the fall will be even greater uh, no interest basically buying this uh, i be a buyer when we basically break all of these moving averages then i'll be a buyer at this point i'm not we are looking quite positive in the technical indicators the macd is turned around the rsi is turned around and so is the cci and the stochastic and but we are hitting the top of the bullinger band and that usually is a sign that we are going to either trade sideways similar to this for a few days and then break down or then or that we have a complete breakdown tomorrow we have been to, been here before we need to need to break the 100 moving average at least in order to go higher so hope you find this video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing clicking the subscribe button down in the corner hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos good luck and thank you very much Thank you.